COVID-19 PAPR PPE donning and doffing procedure. Gather and stage supplies. Do not wear any makeup while using the PAPR to prevent soiling the collar of the head cover. Obtain all necessary PPEs and stage the supplies on a clean surface. The following is a list of the PPE in the sequence they are intended for donning. 3M VersaFlow Powered Air Purifying Respirator or PAPR. Gown. Gloves. Disinfectant wipes. Obtain the PAPR device and test for functionality. Remove the fan assembly from the PAPR bag and insert the battery at the bottom part of the device. Remove the protective covering from the airflow port located at the top of the device and place the cover back in the bag. Remove the accessory Ziploc bag from the storage pouch located in the center of the bag and retrieve the airflow meter. Attach the meter to the airflow port. Depress the blue on-off button located at the top of the device until the fan motor is engaged. The device will proceed through a startup phase. The device will beep and vibrate. The device will also display the battery charge level. Ensure the battery is fully charged. Ensure that the device is set to the lowest airflow setting. Watch the orange ball in the airflow meter and ensure that it floats at or above the F mark on the meter. If the orange ball does not float at or above the F mark, a different PAPR must be used as the device is not achieving proper airflow. Remove the airflow meter off the port and retrieve the air hose from the bag. Attach the hose to the airflow port and then attach the airflow meter to the hose. Ensure that the orange ball floats at or above the F mark in the meter. This will ensure that the hose is not damaged or obstructed. Remove the flow meter from the hose and retrieve the head cover from the bag. Attach the hose to the end of the head cover to make ready for donning. With assistance from the buddy, don the device belt and fan assembly. Place the PAPR head cover on and ensure the harness is securely positioned around the forehead and the back of the head. Ensure the proper airflow is delivered through the head cover. The head cover has a dial at the back of the head. Adjust the airflow to ensure proper comfort for the wearer. If fogging occurs, increase fan speed on PAPR, confirm the hose is connected and has no kinks, leaks, or obstructions. Don a blue isolation gown. Slowly don an isolation gown over the PAPR head cover to prevent tearing. The buddy should assist the healthcare worker with donning the gown and tying the isolation gown in the back under the fan assembly. Do not cover the fan assembly with the gown. The gown should fully cover torso from neck to knees, arms to end of wrists, and wrap around the back. Don gloves. Gloves should not be too tight or too loose. Tight gloves could potentially tear, and loose gloves will hinder your ability to perform certain patient care tasks and may come loose. Ensure the gloves are worn over the thumb loops of the isolation gown. You may now enter the patient's room. Transmission-based precautions must be applied in conjunction with standard precautions. Doff the isolation gown and gloves. Grab the isolation gown at the chest and pull forward. Grab the isolation gown at the waist and pull forward. Any remaining pieces should be discarded by a buddy with gloved hands. As you are removing the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time, only touching the inside of the gloves and the inside of the gown with your bare hands. Place the gown and gloves into a waste container perform hand hygiene. In the event that you have to care for multiple patients suspected or confirmed of COVID-19, you should doff your isolation gown and gloves by grabbing the isolation gown at the chest and pulling forward. Grab the isolation gown at the waist and pull forward. As you are removing the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time, only touching the inside of the gloves and the inside of the gown with your bare hands. 
place the gown and gloves into a waste container. Perform hand hygiene. The buddy should perform hand hygiene and don a clean pair of gloves. The buddy should use a disinfectant wipe to wipe the front of the hood and the head of the hood. The healthcare worker should now don a new isolation gown and a new set of clean gloves. To doff the papper, the buddy should perform hand hygiene and don gloves. Turn your back to the buddy and ask him or her to hold the blower assembly. Once the buddy has held onto the blower assembly, unbuckle the belts. Lean slightly forward and remove the head cover by pulling the loops at the top of the device and under the chin and lifting up and away from the head. Hand the head cover to the buddy. While holding the blower assembly with one hand, the buddy should grab the head cover from the caregiver. The device should remain on during this process. The buddy should now place the device on a clean surface and turn off the unit. The healthcare worker should wash their hands and exit the area. The buddy should begin disinfecting the PAPR components immediately after the PAPR is used. Hospital approved disinfectant wipes should be used in the following order and a separate wipe should be used for each step. Wipe the exterior of the head cover and visor. Discard the wipe. Wipe the exterior of the hose, beginning at the back of the hood and going down to the blower assembly. Discard the wipe. Wipe the exterior of the blower assembly, including the belts. Discard the wipe. The buddy should doff gloves using glove-to-glove, skin-to-skin technique, perform hand hygiene, and don new gloves. The buddy should obtain a disinfectant wipe and wipe the interior visor, including helmet components. Discard the wipe. Remove your gloves using glove-to-glove, skin-to-skin technique, and perform hand hygiene. Disconnect the hose from the blower assembly. Place the protective cover on the airflow port of the blower assembly. Disconnect the battery from the blower assembly and place it back on the charger to charge. Return components to PAPR bag and store bag in a clean surface.